Good morning. The outlook for the day today is slightly brighter. Risk aversion is still high with investors across the globe flocking to the safety of gold and the dollar. At the same time, stocks and commodities are showing some signs of staging a comeback. British shares rose as David Cameron took charge of the first coalition government in London since World War II. Spain's announcement of a new austerity plan also helped to boost the confidence in equities. Stocks in Europe as well as US posted smart gains. Asian markets are trading up this morning led by Japan and South Korea, though Shanghai continues to struggle amid tightening concerns. We expect a higher opening on the Indian bourses. The NSE Nifty may take a shot at 5200 but will find it tough to get past 5300. Fund flows from overseas investors have tapered off lately and valuations remain quite rich. We are going through a volatile consolidation phase. It's better to stay at a safe range and invest lesser than your means. The results to be announced today are Crompton Greaves, Educom, Gimon India, Graphite India, Keval Kiran, Kutons Retail, Lok Housing, MTNL, Platico Pharma and Tata Coffee. FIIs were net sellers of Rs 2.97 billion in the cash segment on Wednesday on a provisional basis, according to the NSC website. Local institutions were net buyers of Rs 1.8 billion. In the FNO segment, the foreign funds were net buyers of Rs 12.89 billion. The revenue from 3G Spectrum sale has touched Rs 584 billion on the 20th day of the auction. India's factory output grew by 13.5%, registering sixth straight month of double-digit expansion. Rulan's power may build gas-fired plant in Andhra Pradesh instead of Dadri after the Supreme Court verdict. Rulan's infrastructure slams Tata Power for continuing to sell 100 megawatt outside Mumbai, defying the recent Maharashtra government decision to make a profit of Rs 3 billion annually. Titan Industries plans to expand its reach by adding 300 outlets in big and small cities shortly. Moving on to the recommendations, the technical calls are a buy on jubilant organosis. Traders are recommended to buy the stock at levels of Rs 360 to Rs 367 for a target price of Rs 385 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs 355. And a buy on Kotak Bank. Traders are recommended to buy the stock at current market price of Rs. 768. A stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 754. Partial profits to be bid at Rs. 795. And an exit to be done at Rs. 800. The derivative calls are Long Bank Nifty May Future at Rs. 9706 to Rs. 9715 for a target price of Rs. 9850. And a stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 9655. And long CESG may future at Rs 399 for a target price of Rs 420 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs 389. Thank you and have a great day ahead.